Hi, this is Larry Jordan. The following interview was recorded January 14th, 2014, as part of my 4K and Final Cut Pro 10 seminar. Listen as Biba Sepet, the Artist Relations Manager for Pond5.com, explains how to find the right stock footage. Because in many cases, stock footage is both a wonderful thing and causes all of us grief because we've picked either the wrong size or the wrong footage or can't find the footage or it's the wrong codec. And I hold you fully responsible for all of those problems. So the first thing that I want to talk about is, does Pond5 have any resolution footage which is greater than standard 1080p high def footage? Yes, absolutely. We are actually one of the first. Is this a little better? I don't speak very loud. <laughs> so actually, Pond5 is one of the first royalty-free marketplaces, if not the very first one, that actually is distributing 4K footage, and also started distributing the R3D, so the raw of the red, um, together with the MOV version of it. So we definitely have resolutions higher than 1080p. We have as high as 5K, 6K, which are not true 4K. They are more of a um, ultra HD. Uh, time lapses composed together from stills from DSLRs, but we certainly have at least, last time I checked, 2,000 files that are higher than 1080p. How do we find them? Oh, it's quite simple. Actually, you have a few ways of getting there. The easiest that I could say right now is uh, pond5.com forward slash 4K. Another way. Pond5.com forward slash 4K. Yeah. And what does that take us? It will take you to all 4K resolution files, which we have classified already, pre-classified for you. So marketplace means that we are connecting the buyer with a global artist. And um, everybody speaks different language, has a little different uh, comprehension about everything. So we make sure we label it the right way. And uh, we create a category. 4K. Now, how are you storing those files? Because different video codecs generate different results and different file sizes. Have you standardized on a particular compression mechanism for those files? Well, we certainly have guidelines for the artist to compress them already. So uh, we've chosen standard codecs that are out there used right now uh, most widely, and we make sure that artist uploads it that way. If it's not that way, uh, if it's not compressed according to our video um, requirements, which actually always changes and it keeps on upgrading. So it's not a bad thing to actually know to look at that page as a buyer, even though usually uh, sellers are looking at it. Um, it's in the help.pond5.com. You just type in video requirements in the, the biggest search box in there and you'll be able to see the entire list. What I can name right now is um, for the longest we've been accepting um, red footage or just 4K shot footage in photo JPEG, Apple ProRes 444 or 422, and H.264, but um, we recommend exporting all keyframes. Does Pond5 do any uh, quality control, quality checking, or do you recompress the file once it's been uploaded? So we don't recompress. Um, they are as they are uploaded. If they were not uploaded according to our uh, requirements and they are really encoded wrongly or they come up with some sort of um, uh, exotic codec, then it doesn't even pass through the upload. And then if someone actually got really creative and got through the upload process, but they actually uh, didn't um, comply with our requirements, we have a team of curators around the world always checking. Uh, they need to also check for the quality, they need to check for uh, creative um, correctness, focus, all that kind of stuff. We can pre-screen uh, technically, through technical filters, but they also check the codec, double check it, and metadata. I mean, if you can't find the file, how can you buy it, right? Well, which gets me to my next point. Uh, whenever I do a search on Pond5, I end up with about 850,000 hits. What tips can we use to find the files that we need? Okay, so first you may want to drill down by technical requirements. <laughs> that will get you really to a narrower number. So if you are working with a specific resolution, let's say the Ultra HD uh, for 4K for TV, then you want to be, be sure you're just looking at that resolution and you are going to have a smaller um, amount. And then within that, you can add keywords, what you're looking for. 
you have to keep in mind that this is a global artist, so we have submissions from all around the world, and for one person's blue, it's another person's cyan, another person's aquamarine. So if you're not finding exactly what you are thinking about, maybe you're thinking about it in the US terms. Maybe you want to try European terminology for that. We are making sure at Pond5 that we will unify it for you and make it easier, but it's an ongoing project. One of the big problems we had in Final Cut 7, especially in rendering, was that we would download stock footage from wherever, and the stock footage wouldn't render properly, or the file was corrupted in some fashion. If we've got a problem with footage that we've gotten from Pond5, how do we fix it? Do we contact you? Do we contact the vendor? Is it possible for us to contact the vendor to get a source file? But if we've got the right shot and it's not rendering, we're stuck. How do we fix it? I like that you asked that question. We are actually the only marketplace where you can contact directly the vendor um, about the technical question. If you're on, um, you can actually, if you're on a deadline, which often happens, you can contact both artist and also our customer service team, see who gets back to you sooner. We definitely have a very, very busy uh, global team of customer service support that are really well versed. They test it out for sure. Um, trying to find out what's happening. Why is it not rendering for you? Is it rendering for us? Is it a difference in the computer environment? And it, we can always provide you with a refund. We are not going to go policing your hard drives, making sure you delete everything. We just make sure you're happy. One of the things that, that is good about Pond5 is that you encourage artists to supply additional stock footage. Can we make requests if we need, say, a particular shot from Sydney? Can we send a note and say, could anybody shoot this for us? Yes, certainly. Uh, I can see you've done your homework on the Pond5 forums. We have a forum that um, artists look at, and you can post there what you're missing, what you're looking for, what you have not found. We are hoping to bring it more forward um, to actually link to a search results eventually. When you're searching and you're not finding what you're looking for, you just go straight there. Do you have any help that you can provide us if we can't find the shot that we need because we just can't figure out your search system? Is there people that can do searches for us? Currently, we don't have researchers on staff, uh, and we are looking into adding third-party vendors, researchers that we are familiar with, and they are familiar with Pond5, but at the moment, we don't have that service. What's your thinking on the, the growth of 4K? Is this something that you're encouraging people to submit files for, or are you leaving it up to the, the artists themselves to decide what format they want to submit? Uh, we definitely in, encourage native format. So as close to the native as possible, anybody that's skilled enough can do their conversions to what they need it for, but native is usually retaining the best quality. So we do require them to go within certain guidelines, but we are trying to make them, um, let's say, expand them, not make them very restrictive. So, um, for example, right now we have on the line to add two more raw 4K formats. Right now we are only accepting our 3D, but we are planning to expand two more. For people that are interested in learning more about Pond5, where can they go to find out more? About Pond5? Well, today, certainly, the next room, and otherwise, pond5.com, and just take a look at our knowledge base or contact us directly. I'll be happy to speak to anyone over the phone. If anyone's interested in specific 4K footage um, chat, we have a very charismatic Georgian guy in New York, Aftendil Chachibaya, so he'll be uh, really a good conversation for that. Cool, thank you. Biba Sefet is Artist Relations with Pond5, and you'll find them out there in the vendor section. Let's take a break. We'll be back in 20 minutes. Thank you, Larry. This conversation was recorded at my 4K and Final Cut Pro 10 seminar. For more information, visit LarryJordan.biz. And thanks. <laughs>